So, dear children, break for five minutes. Okay. But there is the twenty twenty uh one paper. Oh, we have done that. Yeah, we will discuss all the other points after the break. Go and take a break. Excuse me, sir. Let's connect after the break, my dear child. Now take a break. Okay, sir.
Yeah, my dear children. Yeah, dear children, if I'm audible, can you please give me a thumbs up? But I think some, yeah, yeah, my voice should be audible to you. If I'm audible, please give me a thumbs up. Okay, I can see a thumbs up. Yes, sir, you are audible. Okay, 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 that's great. So I'll share the other PDF. Just a minute. Mm. Is the other PDF not opening? Just a minute. Some issue with the other PDF. What happened? Just a minute. So, uh, dear children, I believe this PDF is visible to you. Yes, sir. Okay, that's great. So, uh, I'll just scroll through um, each papers one by one. 2008's paper, this is. So, in 2008's papers, if paper, if you had any doubt, we can discuss. And after that, we'll go to 2009, then 2010, and so on. So we have solved in 2020's paper. 2021's paper, we won't be doing because Ajinkya sir was telling that that paper um, was set very difficult. And that paper, uh, we do not have to uh, solve that paper because such kind of difficult papers won't be repeated in future. Okay. So 2021's paper, we can skip. So, uh, this is these are the first five questions do we, from 2008's paper. Do you have any doubt in these five questions? Any of these? <clears throat> or any question from 2008? We'll go paper by paper. Uh, can question eight. Question, question eight. Question eight, oh. sir. Okay, I heard.
Yeah, I think I know the answer. Yeah. So. Sir, I think the answer is option B, fourteen. Fourteen. Yes, I also got, but I don't know how to do it. Like, I just Sir, got, can like, I, can uh, I it should be HCF of uh, 14 stable. That's... Okay, so, sorry. Yeah, tell me. Somebody was trying to give us some suggestion. Yeah. So, sir, um, it just... is given like, um, hmm. uh, the HCF of two numbers is 14, right? Hmm. So, um, Clearly, if the HCF has to be 14, the minimum difference is to be 14 or a multiple of 14. Hence, hmm. the answer is option, option B. Correct. Now, uh, see yes, my dear sir, students. I also did. Uh -huh. You also did the same approach, right? But what right. if there is a, another table of... Huh. In that case, okay, first of all, let me just uh, give a basic understanding. You know, the product of two number is this. This is HCF product upon HCF is going to give you LCM. Okay, this is just um, uh, random stuff I was just mentioning. Now, in this case, they are asking the difference between two numbers. Now, simple logic, as uh, somebody has already said, since the HCF is 14, which means uh, 14 is one factor, 14 is a factor, the highest common factor it is. So the difference between the two numbers should be 14 or multiple of 14. Now, if uh, now since in this case, there is only 14, you can directly tick. If there is more than one option, then in that case, you'll have to, um, uh, what do we say? Uh, you'll have to consider, you have to consider finding the numbers in that case then. So it's like 3920 is a product of which the difference is 14. So it's like uh, A multiplied by B is 3920. And A minus B is 14 or 28, whichever it is. For example, if there was 28 also, just for example. So you'll have to try solving 28 and find A, find a and B. And uh, with 14 also, you'll have to find A and B. Out of which, if any of the number is a non-integer, just in case, that's when you will understand, okay, fine. Uh, that is the wrong answer. Well, one will give you an integer and the other one will give you a non-integer. So, that's when you have to understand which is the correct one. Sir, how to do this? Uh, how to do this? Sir? How to do an error? Sorry? How to do what? Sir, how to do this with, with, without trial and error? Without trial and error? Sorry, it will be a lengthier method without trial and error. I will not recommend that. Leave it. We'll waste our time discussing okay, this. Sir. sir, you yeah. did A, B is equal to uh, 3, 9, 2, 0 and yeah. A minus B is equal to 28 or 14. So right. how, what do we do next? Like Okay, you process. consider B is equal to 3, 9, 2, 0 upon A. You substitute instead of B, you'll get a quadratic equation for A. Okay. Okay, that's when you get two, two okay. values. Okay. Okay, proceeding further. Um, okay, now the next problem after eight. Okay, I believe 2008 is done. Now 2009. Let me know if any problem is striking Sir? you. Yep. Sir, is there going to be class uh, on 27? Uh, I think most probably yes, but still Ajinkya Sir uh, will confirm that to you. Okay, sir. Okay. Uh, sir, can you please explain, explain the second question? of this paper second question the adjoining figure at point b lies on segment dc length ac uh, and bc is uh, bc are equal why do i feel that i've already solved this problem so you solved in class and so we have solved okay uh, so mm, thank you. so if i've solved any problem okay one or two problems i'll definitely explain not a problem but uh I will request you for the upcoming weeks, you please go through, the, um, you please jot down your doubts and uh, 
if those doubts were discussed in the class please go through the recording once if at all you are not able to understand from the recording then in the next class you can ask not a problem okay okay so yeah so for this one uh, these two angles are same this is x this is 130 if this is 130 this angle will be 50 and uh, let me call this as uh, y and y for our convenience and uh, like i know that 2y plus 50 is equal to 180 that will give you 130 and y is equal to 65 now this is 65 and this is 65 65 if this is 65 i can say this one will be 180 minus uh, 65 that should give me 115 now if this is 115 from the total angle 180 is equal to x plus 50 plus 115 will give you the answer so 165 and the answer should be 15 15 should be your answer you got the logic yes sir hmm. Sorry, Manya, I could not understand. Okay, I'm just, uh, I could not understand what were you saying. So I'm just scrolling down. So I have a doubt in the third. You said third, right? Yeah. Okay. A student uh, got X marks in a test. Another student who got the highest marks gets 48 more marks than the student who got X marks. If the total marks of the both students of both the students are 110, then the highest secured marks can be how much? Okay, so student got X marks. The other student got 48 plus X. So the total of them is X plus 48 plus X is basically equal to 110. So that should give you uh, 2x is equal to 110 minus 48. That is 62. Therefore, x is equal to 31. So if x is equal to 31, the highest scored marks was 48 plus x. That should be 79. And 79 is okay, your so got Thank you. Yeah. So, can you please explain 2011 question 11? 2011, right? Right now we are at 2009. So, we'll first complete 2009, then we'll complete 2010, then we'll reach 2011. That's that's when you have to ask this question, okay? Okay, sir. Hmm. So I'm just scrolling down slowly so that you can see and. So actually, me... I forgot. So Sorry? actually, I forgot about. Uh, I forgot one sum in the paper 2008. Okay. Uh, so the thirteenth sum. Thirteenth one. The difference between the simple interest and the compound interest on a certain sum of money in two years is uh, at fifteen per. So I tried uh, this sum, but I did not get. Okay, the principal is how much? So it's like, so this 144, matlab, mm, okay, I'll solve this like this. So whatever is the principal, Sir? that multiplied by 15 percentage, again what multiplied by, by hold on, hold on, let me complete. It's basically 144, okay? So, Sorry, Kavish, I could not hear you. No, sorry, yes, Kavish. Okay. So this 144, okay, Um, I'll just tell this, I, I'll just uh, give this logic. What was the logic? So the difference between simple interest and compound interest on a certain sum of money uh, for two years, in case of two years, Whatever is the interest is this much. So in case of two years, what happens? You know, first year ke baad, uh, there is an interest in the principal. That is nothing but 15% of the principal. 15% of the principal is the interest. 
एंड ऑन द सेकेंड ईयर वॉट है वॉट एवर वॉज द इंटरेस्ट ऑफ द फर्स्ट ईयर उस पर वापस फिफ्टीन परसेंटेज लगता है दैट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन कंपाउंड इंटरेस्ट एंड सिंपल इंटरेस्ट सो यू कैन रिमेंबर दिस एज अ शॉर्टकट ओके You can remember this as a shortcut. The difference between compound interest and simple interest is always the square. In simple language, I'll say it is the square of the rate of interest multiplied by principal. So principal multiplied by rate square divided by obviously hundred square. Okay, is equal to whatever is the difference. Difference. Yes, sir. Nitik, you have to say anything regarding the same problem. Uh, sir, but this yes, is sir. only for two years. Yes, this but is only for two years. So for three years, sir, it is it will. Yes, be sir. More. Same question. For three years, it should be raised to three or something no, else. No, it will not be raised to three. It will be just a minute. Ah, uh, raised to three plus. Ah, uh, I'll tell you. I'll tell that also. So principal multiplied by R raised to. Okay, R upon hundred. We'll say R upon hundred raised to three plus R upon hundred raised to two. This should be the solution. Sir, for but you have written raised to two plus raised to two. Let's raised to three and raised to two, like this. Okay. So is this a formula? Sorry, sir. I mean, for two years, this is the formula. Yeah, two Even years. This is the formula. Is for uh, p into r square upon n square, then what is r upon hundred raised to three? This is for three years. Normally, three years ka I don't think they you will face a question. I'm just giving you the formula. I don't think you will be able to use it because I don't think it will sure. come. For this uh, type of question, I have a formula called P R square on hundred square is equal to the difference. Yeah, it's the same formula only. P R square upon hundred square is equal to difference. So anyway, so uh, use this one fifteen square upon hundred square. Right. Yes, sir, I got it. Is equal to twelve square. So you do cancellations and you will get Excuse the answer. Excuse me, sir. Yes, Arush, tell me. Uh, sir, what engine? Yes, sir. I had given formula for difference for three years, and your formula were different. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Anyway, since you have already learned Ajinkya sir's formula, you stick to Ajinkya sir's formula only. Forget my formula. Okay. Sir, so, uh, for three, but for sir, two years your formula is correct only. So I don't know what I think, sir, had uh, given you. I don't want to waste our time discussing what uh, sir gave, what I gave, and all those things. Hence, I just told you, uh, if I think, sir, has given you any formula, please stick to that formula. Okay. So in this case, your answer should be six thousand four hundred. Any other doubt? Okay, so proceeding further, two thousand eight, हो गया nine. Okay, nine में I was almost in towards the end. Sir, I have a doubt. In question in... one, in two thousand ten. Okay. Uh, insert one digit between four and seven, and another digit between nine and eight in the number to make a new number that is divisible by twenty-four. How many such numbers can be made in all? Okay, so between four and seven, you can insert a number. Between nine and eight, you can insert a number. Okay, I'm just just a minute. Let me just think. Okay, so first of all, mm. 
I have to okay. So first of all, this uh, this number, if it needs to be divisible by twenty four, okay. So the number goes like this: four dash seven three five dash eight. So first of all, let me sort this out. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to insert a number so that this three numbers will be divisible by eight. You know the divisibility test of eight. Why eight? Because the twenty four can be broken into eight multiplied by three. So if the number is divisible by eight and divisible by three, I can say that the number is divisible by twenty four. So for here, I'll be using the eight's divisibility test. Eight's div divisibility test. मतलब this should be divisible by eight. Now you skip uh, nine. Why did I skip nine? अच्छा और ये हाँ हाँ करेक्ट करेक्ट. So nine dash eight. So these three digits must combine to give you. uh eight divisibility test so what could be the number uh so i sorry 266968 should suffice i believe right yep 968 yes, correct so when i put 6 over here uh this is possible like this gives you divisibility test of 8 and uh, accordingly 3 ko match karne ke liye so apart from that any other number do i have apart from 968 um so 9 28 right yep 928 so 968 is one option and 928 is another option so 28 is another option okay now theek hai with respect to 968 what should i do over here now what i'll be doing i'll i'll be adding okay 928 is the next one ha huh, i'll be adding all the digits so 8 uh plus 6 plus 9 plus 5 plus 3 plus 7 plus 4 when i add add all the digits the total sum is 42 basically why did i add to check the divisibility test for 3 so the next number i'll be uh, putting with respect to 3 itself so since 42 is already divisible by 3 0 sorry 0, zero. is a possibility 3 is zero, a possibility 6 9 is a possibility 9 is a possibility so that means there are four possibilities with 6 over here and another four possibilities are like for now the next one i'll have to check how many possibilities so when i put 2 over here now uh when i add all the numbers 3 7 dash and 4 so it's basically 4 plus 7 plus 3 plus 5 plus 9 plus 2 plus 8 that gives me 38 so from 38 in order to become a multiple of 3 i can put 1 that gives 39 if 1 is an option then 4 is an option then 7 is an option So there are three variants over here, four variants over here, which means total seven variants. Sir, just one doubt. Uh, why did we take only two and six? Because In order to of make... divisibility of eight, right? Yes. Okay. Eight divisibility. Okay. Sir, it will be zero three six nine. No, we have written nine. Uh, in the yep. four yep. six. Yep, zero three six okay, nine. Sir. Four possibilities over here. One four seven three possibilities. So that's why the answer is seven. Four plus three. Okay. Correct. Okay. So, dear children, that's all for today. In the next class, we'll be solving further doubts from two thousand tenth paper onwards. Okay, so you can. Uh, so, in this one week, I'll request one thing. First of all, jot down your doubts. आपके doubts निकाल के रखो. Secondly, जो भी doubts जो भी paper में है, go to that particular class. Uh, just look into the recording. Just see whether we have already discussed that in the class. If we have already discussed that in the class, please try not to bring it here. You try to watch the recording and understand. Ha. Huh. If you watched the recording and then also you are not able to understand, then bring it to the class in the next week, okay? And that's when we'll be discussing. Excuse me, sir. It in the just let me just complete. That's when we'll be discussing okay. those doubts over here, okay? So I hope I am very much clear to you. 
Now, Yathat, first of all, you tell me what is your query because you raised your hand first. Uh, yes, sir. Sir, I was just uh, sir seeing. So, sir, Ajinkya, sir, gave the formula P into R upon 100 square. So, sir, that is basically the same thing only. Ah, same thing only. Okay, okay. Fair enough. Thank you for the clarification. Okay, Yathat. Naitik, you tell me. Sir, in this one only, uh, how you got seven? Because they are asking the number of, uh, how many numbers can be formed? So, Correct. Uh, now, I'll tell you how did I get seven. seven. Don't worry. Now, basically, uh, so I inserted two to satisfy eight's divisibility. Now, I have to insert one more number to satisfy three's divisibility. Now, according to three's divisibility, the sum of all the digits should be a multiple of three. That is the whole condition. Now, when I added everything, my multiple was, my number was 38. Now, with 38, what should I add in order to get a number divisible by 3? That was 1. So, 38 plus 1, 39, which is divisible by 3. Now, if I add 38 plus 4, that is also divisible by 3. If I add 38 plus 7, that is also divisible by 3. Understood? So, that I understood. Sir, but where after can that, we find the recording? 7. Uh, wait, wait. Naitik, uh, how can we get 7? Achha, total 7. Yes, sir. Total 7. Ha. So, with 6 over here, I got 4 possible values. With 2 over here, I got 3 possible values. 4 possible values plus 3 possible values, total 7 possible values. Hence, your answer is 7. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Ha. Sir, where can now, we get the recording? Uh, answering to Siddharth's query, the recordings are in a uh, you know Google Drive. Of which the link should have been shared to you by this time. I'll just uh, I'll just speak with Ajinkya sir if you don't have the link. Okay. Yes. Now I think okay, is sir. your query sir, solved? I understood. Okay. Yes, sir. And I understood, sir. Meanwhile, I'll just share yes. the how does the drive look like? I'll just share it with you. So this is a drive which I have created. So when you'll go to the drive with respect to the date, Jobi dates me upna class hua hai, wo date ke hisab se you can see the folders and uh, in those folders, you can, when you open any folder, you can see part one, two, three, four, the four parts of our class you can see over there. Okay, even today's recording, it's already uploaded. Jitna humne kar diya hai, utna already uploaded hai with the date of 27. 27 may have already uploaded three parts. Only the fourth part is Sir, this part. Can you, please share this link? Uh, can you please share this link in the WhatsApp group? In the WhatsApp group, I'm not there. Uh, Ajinkya sir is there. Ajinkya sir is already having this link. Maybe he might have shared, you might have not, uh, uh, you might have missed it out. So you can just drop a message or maybe just check the group once. Okay. Okay, sir. Okay. So, so Ajinkya all... sir has already sent this. Already but sent But not today's it. class. Okay. So uh, there is no need of today's class. So Ajinkya sir has already shared the link of the whole folder. So inside that folder, main jaise jaise I will update the video. Vaise vaise you can immediately see that. Okay. Okay, sir. Chalo. Aaj ke liye itna hi hai. See you next week. Then take care. Bye bye. See ya.